Okay, I'm here today to show you the modified finger trap suture technique for preparation of the graft. I already prepared one over here. I'm going to show you how to do it here. First thing I do, put the graft on the board, and what I'm going to do is mark 40 millimeters on each end so that I just have an idea of where to start doing this. Now I'm going to take a number two orthocord. And what I do is, to start with, I do a surgeon's knot, which means you want to bring this through one, two times. I hold the two pieces of suture together, bring it out tight, put two fingers in here, and push the suture down. That way I get two even lengths of suture. I'm going to tighten it up right there at the 40 mark. Now I bring it underneath, come on top, throw a half hitch, and I'm doing half hitches so that you guys watching this can understand it, not the way I normally suture. Underneath, half hitch, underneath, half hitch. What I do is I space the sutures about five millimeters apart, and I do six knots. Okay, that was the fifth, that was the sixth. And you want to leave this five millimeters apart because you want to leave this tissue out so that the graft will heal into bone. Okay, now at this point I hold on to the one my left hand. I take the suture and wrap it around once, twice. Now I'm going to bring the suture underneath the graft, in through the little loop I made, and tighten it. Okay, that's it for that side. I'm going to move the graft. We're going to do this side. This side I'm going to do with a green ethabond, number two ethabond. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before, which is I make a surgeon's knot, which is through once, twice. I hold them together here, put my fingers in, push it down. And like I said, that's just to get two equal lengths of suture. Tighten it down. This works particularly well on this little, very tiny end of the graft where it's very hard to put a needle in that without shredding the tendon this little finger trap tensioning, uh, finger trap suturing technique is much better. Now this was studied uh, in Taiwan. They did a write-up in the May Arthroscopy Journal, and you can find the study that was done. And they tested it for strength. Okay, half hitch. Okay, here's the five, and here's my last one. Six. Now again, suture underneath on top, suture underneath. Bring this underneath through here, tighten it up. This allows the tension to continually be pulled on this graph. So we're done with this. Now we've got two graphs. Now what you have to do, we're going to mark the middle of the graft. Now the easiest way to mark the middle of the graft, I've seen people lie it out, measure it, everything else. The easiest thing to do to mark the middle of the graft is go like this. There's the middle. All right, now, as you can see, I color-coded this graft. I put the green on one end because you want two distinct ends of the graft. One's going to be your anterior medial, uh, and the other portion, portion is going to be the posterior lateral bundle. So Okay, there we go. 
So now I have my middle mark, which is right there. I'm going to place that little middle mark. I'm going to put that at 35. I'm going to mark it at 0 and 70. And now I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to use the same suturing technique. And I'm going to start with the green on the end where the green sutures are. Bring this through twice. Tighten it down. OK. Now go underneath on top, half hitch. This time, it doesn't really matter how many sutures you put in here. All you're trying to do is gather this together to make a distinct bundle. This will be you know, either your intermedial or your posterior lateral bundle. So you can get away with like three or four, maybe five stitches at the most. And then here, instead of ending it off with the little slip stitch thing, you actually want to tie it off. And the reason I start here and go to here is so that the knot, once it's cut off, is going to be up inside the tunnel. OK, now I'm going to make a switch. And it's much easier to sew towards you than it is to sew away from you. So that's why I'm. Just moving the graph board and starting here. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing here. Surgeon's knot to begin with. Push it down. Tighten it up. Underneath, on top, half hitch. Underneath, on top. Half hitch, underneath, on top, half hitch, underneath, on top, there's about five there, I'll do one more. Tie it off. There we go. Cut these sutures. Now your graft is ready. I also want to show you one other little trick that I learned. Your graft is all ready. Here's your number five suture. Now you can see why I marked the graft at 35 rather than 30, because this little portion here that goes up and around takes some length off the graft. So I always mark it at 35 and put the sutures to 35. And I just want to show you one little trick more. To keep this from moving back and forth, back and forth, at the very end, you can just take a uh, I have a zero Vicro, and just put a little tie in it here. Cut it off because that will allow you to not worry about this graft moving up or down and have it, you know, having it wind up like that. So that's it. That's the modified finger trap suture technique down here, up here. Down here I use number two ethabond, number two orthochord. Up here I used either zero or two O because you have to upsize the tunnel on the femoral side. So I use a smaller suture. And all you're doing with this suture is making two bundles.
So that's it. We're done.